we just really wanted to, you know, say hello to everybody, and it's been a minute since we've done a live, and, and we wanted to say hi and see how everybody out there is doing. We finally got a little break in our weather, and we're okay. feeling like fall festive today, I think. All right, scoop down this way just a little okay. bit. Okay. That's good. That's okay. good enough. Now, we, uh, we're also... Uh, doing YouTube so y'all just don't pay any attention to that but anyway we wanted to I wanted Rachel to fix me something for my dining room table so I have this wood and metal and glass bottle thing uh, that I usually put fresh flowers in right well I don't have anything blooming anymore right, right now been so hot here. Everything is dead at our house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is. so I wanted something for fall. So we have these great persimmon branches from Raz that just are so pretty. I wanted some blue and orange for fall this year. I love this color orange too. And we have these on the web. We have them in the store and we have them on the right. website. And they are really cute. The item number is F3902420. Well, they are just so pretty, but they're a, a persimmon. Per, persimmon. Persimmon. I can never pronounce it. Persimmon pick. So we're going to use that and then some greenery, and we're going to put make the bud vases out of that. Um, there's another bottle somewhere. It's right here. Right in front of me. <laughs> Now this, this is Jenny's <laughs> brilliant idea. She's okay. been to the farmer's market today. <laughs> well, the bottles, I mean, you know, they're just glass bottles. And the stems, these are not pretty stems. They're the kind of stems that you would have hidden in something. But I just wanted a little bit, I, I didn't want like a full floral arrangement. I just wanted some picks. But I didn't want these stems to show. show, and I didn't know what we were going to do with these bottles. So we got these corn, corn husks. husks. She got these at the local farmer's, at the farmer's market, market uh, that you make tamales out of. I've never and, in my yeah, life. This I, is a great I've never idea. Done that. Have you ever done that? Heavens no, but well, it's anyway, a great idea. They tear real easy, and you just you know you just tear that off and poke it down in there, and then I thought, well, there that, you go. That covers up that glass bottle. And it hides your mechanics. Right. Well, yes. Right. So what we're going to do when she starts cutting the branches to see how long she needs to cut it, we're going to take a piece of the husk and a little hot glue and wrap around the branch. So, just to finish covering that up. Yeah. So I just started... Well, you know, this branch is actually kind of does look like a real branch. It kind of does. But the, the eucalyptus is just an old green vinyl branch. And right. It needed to be covered up. Right. So that's one part of the project, and, and we're going to work on that. The other part of the project <laughs> is this wood trough that I'm going to use on my dining table. And we've been, again, out and local. Right. Shopping so around. So I've been to the farmer's market and I've got some some little pie pumpkins that we're gonna put it, we're gonna put something down as a base. Put the pie pumpkins and then got some really some real acorn squash. Right. And then I've got these plastic plastic ones that I'm gonna paint. I wanted something the blue and orange. I wanted so I'm gonna paint some shades of blue, maybe some cream, pale green. Right. And then tomorrow, let those dry, and then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to make this centerpiece kind of match what's in the bud bases. Right. All right, so let me just get this out of the way. We're going to we're gonna come back I'll and show later. The, the chalk paint later. Right, right. I, I will make Which them watch me paint. Which is pretty exciting. And here's a, here's a little preview. Right, we, we had done that paint. last week. We took an orange one and chalk painted it, which I think it looks so good. I love that color. And if you're from Punatuck and watching, I got that tray at the red door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, beautiful wood tray. It's beautiful. So, we love Shay and everybody at the red door, too. So, But we'll, we'll paint those pumpkins, and then tomorrow we'll do that. So while you work on, I, let, I can do that. I can fill the jars. Okay. 
You work on the flowers. And people may <laughs> tell them kind of our idea about, because I was a little worried about sticking these corn husks down in the jars. Well, I don't know. They may not come out. But, but tell us, tell them their I, I, the well, idea I, we I had. I think we could take a crochet hook and get them out or like a skewer. And if they don't come out, we'll just keep reusing them. It just so happens I have a skewer. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, see if that's going to come out. <laughs> I tried to, you know, let, let them stick out just a little bit. Not, I think not it to, will. And I think it's a great idea. I, think I love this for the if fall. If you go ahead and put it in full-length pieces. Yeah. And let them stick out just a smidge. Yeah. And, I mean, let's even just have a, let's leave a little bit just kind of sticking out okay. kind of willy-nilly, like we well, say. Well, you know, when I got the corn husk, I was thinking that, you know, you might could use it as a little uh, something to... I don't know, sort of like a little, make a little pick out of it. I don't know. But that is a genius but idea. That, those were just a dollar. A dollar for this whole big bag. Yeah. And this, these came from the market basket? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our local. They have them at Walmart, too, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, good. It's, it may not be the same kind, but anyway, they have, they have some. But while you are working on the stems, uh, I will work on this. And like I say, I'm sorry, I... I can't read the comments from here, uh, but if you have any questions or comments, just leave them, and we'll come back afterwards, and I'll let you know, and of course, if you're watching on YouTube Live, or YouTube, you can leave us a comment there, and I always come back and answer those questions. So I'm just taking the corn husk and kind of wrapping it down the bottom of the stem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've got my glue pan over here to the, to the side. And I'm just going to step over here and put a little dabble of glue, hot glue, at the top and at the bottom. I think that'll hold it. Okay. And that'll cover that stem up. Which is a great idea. And Thank it wasn't you. my idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a floral designer. Rachel is the designer. Well, <laughs> self, self, self appointed, I think. But I had just... thought that we were going to have to put like some Spanish moss in the bottles. But I like this idea, and sometimes that Spanish moss gets a little dusty looking. Somebody commented and said if you want to darken those corn husks, you can soak them in, with tea bags. Really? And what a great idea. Somebody, so some, com somebody commented that if you wanted to darken the corn husks, oh. you could um, um, stain them with tea bags. Well, good gracious. That's a great idea. I've never thought of that before. Um, Carrie's out and about for us today. And we're, we're having a little fun while she's gone, so. Yeah, no, this is the kind of thing Carrie could do. Yeah, and she would she really would get a kick out of the fact that I actually created a she's pattern probably, over there. She's probably watching this, and she's, she's probably getting mad because I said that. No, she would get a kick out of the fact that I've created a pattern in the corner. Because oh. <laughs> usually she gets a little agitated with me just picking stuff up left and right. Yeah, but she, I love the way this corn. Yeah, we can talk about her while she's not here. That's right. <laughs> but I love the way that this looks, and I think that's a great idea Thank you. for the fall. Thank you. So I'm, I've already cut the per, okay pers pers persimmon persimmon. Have you not ever eaten a green persimmon? No, I haven't. But well, now, I need to bring you one. <laughs> you do. <laughs> we have these um, on the website. And I will give that item number once again because I think they're really good looking. Um, they are RAS. And the item number on them is F3902420. Right. Now they are a more, what I call a more pricey pick. I think that's in the mm -hmm. 15 16 $17 range. Mm -hmm. But um, they, the persimmons are so big and mm -hmm. nice and they look very real. But, you know, um, of course, if you eat a green persimmon, if you've never had a green persimmon... I have not. The big trick is somebody will try to get you to bite into a green persimmon. Uh -huh. You you just cannot imagine how bitter. It'll just draw your mouth up. It's awful. Is that a Pontotoc County it's thing? It's awful. I'm not sure. <laughs> Seriously. I have not. Wow. I would you probably... miss that. I, I, should, I should go bring some. Yeah. But you can't eat persimmons usually until it's been a frost. Oh. They don't usually ripen until after the frost. You know you can buy them in the grocery store ripe. Really? This time of the year. Okay. 
Are they grown on a tree or yes. a bush? <laughs> a tree. <laughs> I had to throw that in there for Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> a persimmon tree. Uh, they are. And, okay. Uh, so this, I mean, this was just one. So I'm going to have enough uh, from one pick for two bottles. Okay. So, yeah. Right, and if you have to, you may have to cut that one off. Mm -hmm. Is that going to fit? No, I don't. I don't think so. Either. But anyway, persimmons don't usually get ripe until after a frost. I don't know why, but I guess it's just the timing. But really? Now this is another old story. Okay, I love stories. <sighs> well, persimmons, when you can eat them, uh, they're good. They're real orangey. They're just uh -huh. like that. But anyway, they have a seed on the inside. And you can burst that seed open, and the little bitty white thing uh -huh. inside the seed will look like a knife, a spoon, or a fork. Really? True. True. Are they orange in the store when you yeah, buy them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I, know, I mean, I've had a pomegranate, but I've never had a persimmon. <laughs> Well, I'm this, going to find you a green one. I'm excited. <laughs> I'll let you. You should, have, you should have not told me the trick to the green. <laughs> and we have not had a frost. It's been so hot here. Oh, but my gosh. I am bringing in another. This is a fall Japanese maple. And I did check the website. We do have okay. plenty of these. The item number on it is FL4055. And I love the way. I love Japanese maple. So... We've got one of those in our yard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're pretty. And I already wrapped a little bit of the corn husk around this one. <gasps> Carrie gave me this um, bottle set. Oh, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. It's did. pretty. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I, I love it. In spring and summer, I love it with nothing but just... You know, one blossom down in mm -hmm. there, and I've had hydrangeas, mm -hmm. and she's had pretty hydrangeas. She and, has had pretty uh, hydrangeas this I year. I have just enjoyed it so much, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, you can put a hydrangea in there, and it will last all week. I mean, I've had some that lasted almost two weeks. Oh, they'll last Fresh. longer than a week. I know they're pretty. Now I change the water, you know, every right. couple of days. Right. Right. But they have done really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like this, Rachel. I do too. I do too. Especially the corn husk. There you go. And that was your idea. Got to earn my keep somehow. <laughs> we got to we got to uh, get to work here and prove right. to Carrie by we doing a Facebook Live that we're busy. When Carrie's not here, say I come in the store and I just pick out the things that I want to take home. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's earned them. <laughs> Well, we hope if you have friends that you think might enjoy this, to please let them know about it. Right. And let us know where you're from. And, uh-oh, my phone is ringing. It's probably Carrie. <laughs> I put it on Do Not Disturb. I don't know. Does it? Does it automatically come off of Do Not Disturb after a while? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Connie said when you get ready to take those out, if you fill that bottle with water, uh -huh. that it should push it towards the top when you turn well, it upside yeah, down. Well, yeah, thank you, up. Connie, for that tidbit. We can well, always use now, all the tidbits around here. I would depend right on y'all to help me remember that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Connie. I'm liking it. I am, too. We are really liking this this green. We call it kind of a eucalyptus color. Well, yeah, I like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, it's just kind mm -hmm. of a it's almost a bluish green. Right. A little bit. Right. Not just pure plant green. Right. So when we get these pumpkins painted and we're able to put all this uh, together, if you're just now joining us, we're gonna do some pumpkins and adobo too. Right, we're gonna match that. I, I went today, I had been on a mission looking for one of those long, narrow adobos. And I found one at the red door mm -hmm. here in Pontotoc. Here in Pontotoc, local. I love it. Just gonna put a little dabble of glue so, on this. this. This piece I'll probably put like on my island or on my bar and then I'll have the other thing on the table. Okay. I'm just gonna keep stuffing a little more in there. Still going on the... I am finished, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good. Good, good. 
just like that. Just that easy. It's it's always easy to do something, I think, like this when you have a beautiful container. Just airy and mm -hmm. not a yep. lot of... Not a lot. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. You're all welcome. Right. Yep. Well, all right. That's it. And I'll post those SKU numbers for you of the items that we used, and we'll mm -hmm. come back. Uh, I'll get my pumpkins painted, and then we'll come back and put together the trough. Yes. Okay. The dobo. Dobo. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Y'all be you sure soon. to subscribe. There's a little, um, there's a little bell. There's a subscribe button down to the right of your screen, and there's a little bell. If you click on that little bell, you'll get a notification of when we have an upload. Okay? Thank you. Bye. There's my arrangement after I got home and put it on my dining table. I really like the way it looks. I love the persimmon pick. Uh, the bright, you know, bright orange color is just very realistic. Uh, I really like that. I like the way it looks.